everybody, and welcome back to more Land of the Babes, but it's a cutscene. Oh, you damn apes have sure stunk up my planet. I think it's time to start the global cleanup, starting with your smelly ass. <coughs> your stench is worse than I thought. Your feeble words mean nothing to me, Nukem. We killed your men, and we're about through with your women. Your planet is dead, and you're too late to save it. You have failed. I haven't even begun, Silver Turd. You aliens are all the same. Stupid. And clumsy. And after I dispose of you all, I'll single-handedly repopulate this planet. <laughs> Brave words from a man that can't even get past a little gas. Good luck, Nukem. This place will become your tomb. Rest in pieces. So, yet again, I am obviously still Niggeroth, and we have finally gotten out of the water into a very fine sewer level full of poo vapors. Uh, yet again, from another carryover from Time to Kill, because who doesn't love, you know, unnecessary boundaries and needing to have gas masks to survive? But that's okay, because, well, we'll get a gas mask soon enough. Uh, also, I found that, uh, for some reason, I had been completely ignoring the sniper rifle, and it's actually a pretty amazing weapon when headshots connect. Um, for the most part, the auto-aiming actually does a pretty good job of aiming for the head and taking them down pretty quickly. That is, as long as they are facing you, if they are actually kind of, you know having a profile to you then it'll just kind of peg them in the shoulder and it won't really do much except get their attention and then they'll face you and then you'll shoot them in the face but by pressing this button drained, obviously we lower the water the level which levels. will allow us access to another secret later on the level so that's not really absolutely necessary to do but it's helpful if you're actually trying to get these secrets in the level and uh, through my own you know yeah, uh, searching, I found that most of the, most of the uh, destroyable items outside of the Duke's kick-ass Duke Nukem Cola are mostly just background things that you can destroy. Very few of them actually have items and extra ammunition, things like that. But it's already time to head down to the first secret of the level. I think there's only two secrets in this entire level, so there's not that many. But the one thing you have to be careful of is that actually swimming underneath the water will cause you to lose health, so you, you kind of need to hurry. You, you could technically use your ma your gas mask to get through those spots, but you'll see in just a second we actually need as much gas mask as possible. Especially if, well, you did what I did when I was first playing this level and didn't remember that you have a jetpack. Because due to the very, I don't want to say awkward controls, but they really are awkward. Um, getting through this next area can be kind of difficult, especially as you just saw there. There's actually walkways that will destroy themselves as you walk over them. Which is particularly odd since as we saw in the opening cinematic, Silverback was standing without any kind of issue on the bridge in the first place. So maybe Duke just weighs more than a gorilla uh, but yeah either way now that I'm back on track all I have to do now is jump over that pit I just made and basically keep an eye out in the future because there will be more destroyable platforms as we make our way through here you may also notice there's another new enemy or at least a returning enemy from time to kill which are bats uh, they don't have any firepower they will just kind of ram into you and be jerks. But over here is the room where we press the septic switch to lower the water level. First though, just going to refill my Duke biography because obviously I I need a portable medkit at full at all times. As much as I need to not ever be totally proficient with the controls on the game. Also down here, uh, by shooting away that destroyable wall, we access the second and last secret of the level to get the quest item. 
With the quest I have obtained, we actually have gotten a nice little chunk of health back. And we can continue back into the main speed bump of the level with its very narrow walkways and the fact that you fall down into water. Now, you may not notice that there is gas still above the water, but yeah, even while you're swimming down there, you do still need your gas mask, which as you can see, just from the little bit that I've been running around, is already almost out. Pig, the other dead meat. Because another, another major drawback of the gas mask is that it will automatically place itself on you whenever you walk into gassy areas, but it will not automatically de-equip itself once you exit one, so... You have to make sure to be pretty quick about that because it's just ticking down very quickly. But most of these little side areas you don't even need to get into outside of, you know, getting the jetpack because as far as I can tell the only way to get up into the next area is to jetpack up. I think that particular you know, platform was too high up to actually allow you to just jump up. But by coming up here, we actually reach the final little area of the mission, which it's, it's actually a lot safer than the previous ones, except it still has the, you know, very annoying to walk across narrow platforms. Especially when you're trying to auto-aim and move at the same time, it just does not translate well. The camera kind of goes all funky and, yeah. For the, for the most part, it's just good that, you know, none of these are bottomless pits, to say the least. Thankfully, we still have plenty of jetpack, and, you know, I don't mind using it to make my life a little bit easier instead of having to reclimb back up ladders. And the basic point of this particular area is to find three valves and throw them. They're not too difficult to find, and you don't have to push them or turn them in any particular mm. order. Even though if you look at the cylinder that it's turning, you may think that you do, but in the end you just have to make sure that you turn all three and it's uh, it's pretty easy. It's not really a puzzle by any measure. The only Where real annoyance are these stupid bats, but thankfully sniper rifle ammo actually takes pretty quick work of them. As I still cannot manage to stay on these uh, narrow walkways. They will be the bane of me. Yeah, over here is our second valve. The uh, the last valve is actually on the bottom floor, and the bottom Looks like actually it's a has a a, tube. a tunnel that goes around around the entire perimeter. But you only have to go to a very particular spot to get to the valve. So you actually want to make sure not to walk around the entire perimeter as while you're walking it will spawn more albino apes to shoot their large fuchsia lasers at you yeah apparently they're they're still the ape core except now they're the albino ape core which i guess means that they can get better weapons if that makes any sense but yeah, here is the final hey, vent, allowing it. us uh, some, I guess, upward propulsion through the vent system, I guess? I I really don't know. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much the end of the level. We'll see more next time in more uh, Land of the Babes. This is Negros saying bye. Yeah, a jetpack. I'm a bird. I'm a plane. I'm Duke Nukem. Time to catch up with my old pal Silverback.